This is a day of victory. This is not the time for failure. We pray for victory. This is not the time when the people of Israel said, we have strength, but we cannot give birth. But the word of the prophet said the enemy will return in the same way that he came. The enemy will not even kill one person. They will return by the way they came. They will come in one way and scatter in seven ways. This is the day of victory. This is not a day of mourning. This is not the day of despair. This is not the day of contempt and shame. I pray today the Lord will give you victory. God will give victory. The Lord is a God who gives victory. I pray as you come to the presence of God in this temple, all your worries are being removed. All the plagues of the enemy are being destroyed. The angels are being dispatched to fight on your behalf. I pray one angel can kill 185,000 soldiers in a day. Lord, I pray God today send forth your angels. Lord, send forth your warring angels. Hallelujah, Lord, you are the Lord of hosts. Senegalin Karta Namakaka Yutam Sevar, as you praise him today, as the worship goes up, I pray the blessings are going to come down, the glory will come down, the angels will be dispatched, they will start the fight on your behalf. The Bible says the day the Lord fought for his battle, there's no one on earth who fought for Israel like the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Today you shall see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to see the salvation of the Lord. The battle is not yours, but the Lord's. Today the Lord will fight your battle. This week the Lord will fight your battle. This week the Lord will go before you. This week the Lord will consume your enemies. This week the Lord will chase your enemies. This week the Edomites, the Moabites are being scattered. This is the day of victory. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a mighty clap. Hallelujah.
பாதிக்கு நம்ம கையில் தேடி படுமா த லார்ட் வில் burn up the fire stir up the fire oh god let the fire of the holy spirit come upon us today holy ghost fire come
upon you like dew on the grass. You will rest in him. The Bible says rest in the Lord. Be still and know that God reigns. The Holy Ghost will come. He will give you rest, peace, joy. Hallelujah. Vinnaga kaatre anupum appa parasutha kaatre anupum thagalithadi padala venpani pol சூழ்ந்து நிற்கும் தேவ ஆவியானவரே அமைதியை கொடுமப்பா சந்தோஷத்தை கொடுமப்பா
Jesus, like the clay in the hands of the potter. In the Marburu of Makumapa. something beautiful there's something beautiful there's a treasure in your life there's a hidden talent god take it out oh god there's something beautiful something glorious
எல்லாவற்றிற்கும் நன்றி செலுத்தலாம் கத்து நன்றி செலுத்தலாம் God is not in the wind God is not in the fire The world wind came Elijah could not hear his voice The fire came could not hear his voice Earthquake and then a gentle sickness that god cannot remove there's no mountain that god cannot remove there's nothing impossible speak to me jesus speak to my heart lord based on my heart let everything give way to the voice of god he will reign from eternity to eternity there is no enemy who can exalt himself there is no pharaoh there is no nebuchadnezzar who can outdo god he reigns from everlasting to everlasting his kingdom is from the beginning to the end to the alpha and omega the beginning and the end one who was who is and will be He is the I am that I am forever and ever he is God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus we give you glory let my heart be filled with your praise let your name be supreme Let my mind always think about you, God. Let my heart be filled with your love. Nothing shall take the place of God. No affection, no desire can take his place. There's nothing that I desire besides you. God will dwell in the praises of his people. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Master. Let this day be your day. Engale maruga maaku. Adarkana nandri. Thank you Jesus. Jesus said to the rich man, one thing you lack. Go and sell what possesses you. come and follow me is there anything that's possessing our heart today we'll disengage from it and say god end me i am available end me i am for you send me regle yoke nam solla just give your life to jesus elijah said a man called me how long will you stand between two opinions either my god is god or your god is god and fire came and proved that the god of elijah is real true everlasting and ending powerful mighty glorious he is the lord hallelujah to you belong for glory and honor and power and praise. Yesu naamathil alikkirukkom hallelujah amen kathir periya kathir kodupama hallelujah amen you may stand up and read the songs
வாசிக்க வேண்டிய சங்கீதம் நாற்பத்தி ஆறு சாம்ஸ் ஃபோர்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் தேவன் நமக்கு அடைக்கலமும் பலனும் ஆபத்து காலத்தில் அனுகூலமான துணையுமானவர் அதின் ஜலங்கள் கொந்தளித்து பொங்கி அதின் பெருக்கினால் பர்வதங்கள் அதிர்ந்தாலும் நாம் பயப்படும் தேவன் அதன் நடுவில் இருக்கிறார் அது அசையாது அதிகாலையிலே தேவன் அதற்கு சகாயம் பண்ணுவார் சேனைகளின் கர்த்தர் நம்மோடு இருக்கிறார் யாக்கோபின் தேவன் நமக்கு உயர்ந்த அடைக்கலமானவர் அவர் பூமியின் கடைமுனை மட்டும் யுத்தங்களை ஓய பண்ணுகிறார் வில்லை ஓடித்து ஈட்டியை முறிக்கிறார் ரதங்களை நெருப்பினால் சுட்டெரிக்கிறார் எல்லாரும் சேர்ந்து வாசிக்கலாம் சேனைகளின் கர்த்தர் நம்மோடு இருக்கிறார் யாக்கோபின் தேவன் நமக்கு உயர்ந்த அடைக்கலமானவர் God is a good God. As usual, pray three to four times. I think right now it's six times. Men pray three times and then women pray three times. You can join the conference bridge. And thank you for all who are praying. I know it's not easy to join every time, but you are praying and I thank everyone who is praying. Amen. So these are our church services. So Friday from next Friday, we're going to have a youth service only for the youths. Amen. So parents can come and drop off their children and you can hopefully go and do whatever you like around this campus or in the city of Carrollton or if you want to go shopping. So if you drop off anywhere between 7 to 7.30, you can drop off your children. We are at starting from 7. So we'll start the service at 7.30, it's an hour and 15 minutes. So we'll have a worship and as usual a regular message and the children will also have opportunity to give to the Lord. So You know, if you are giving them, giving them some pocket money, you tell them, you know, if you give them $10, tell them, teach them to give $1 to God. That's, that's the basic and the most simplest form of teaching our children. Amen. And it cannot be more complicated. And the children should learn basics when they are very young. So when they grow old, they won't ask questions. Hallelujah. And so you pick up at 8.45. So anywhere between 8.45 and 9, so you have to pick up. So because we got to close the building by 9 o'clock, so please come before 9 and pick up the children. And as usual, Saturday will be 6 o'clock, Sunday at 10. God bless you. And keep reading the Bible. This is a challenge in 2021, so to continue to read every day. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is a good God. God bless all the children. But the children keep going. Oh, Sister Divya, please come. Oh, yeah, Miss T. Row T. <laughs> Praise God. Please come. For the sake of camera, we got to be here. I love to come down, but the camera needs adjustment. Hey, Niti Jebitla, Isapa, Nandi, Andre, Sotramapa. Lord, I thank you for Sister Divya in Jesus' name. Pudi, Yavarat, Nandi, Andre. Even as she steps into this new dimension of life, I pray this year will not be the same like the previous years. I pray breakthrough in spirituality, revelation will hit her. I pray, God, deeper walk with Jesus. I pray revelation will become common. And I pray, God, she will experience the power of God every day of her life. Miracles at workplace, miracles at home, children. Lord, I thank you for the husband, I thank you for the family. I pray all the surroundings be changed today. The enemies are going down. Our influ influence will increase. I pray the spirit of leadership will come upon her today in Jesus' name. She'll be an excellent leader, a guide, a mentor. Let this year bring glory. Amen. Happy birthday. God bless you. Hallelujah. All night prayer will be here on 17th. So come, all night prayer is such a beautiful facility. We should maximize it. Amen. Do not take anything for granted. There were times when you were sitting under the tree to learn history. 
Amen. Padikumada, I was sitting on the hill. Today I was under the tree. And my teacher taught me history. Tipu Sultan, Raja Raja Solan, Madre Pandirgal, Vira Pandir, Katta Bowman. I love to know. We learned under the tree. So if we are under this building, no, you cannot miss opportunity to worship God. You know, I think a few years ago I went for mission trip. Literally when I was preaching, light came on my face. Now you'll be thinking, well, maybe there's heavenly light, you know, it's <laughs> this kind of light. No, no, no. Literally there was a hole in the roof. And light came, the sunlight directly came. And, and that pastor still is you know, such a close friend from Kilgali, Kilgali pastor. Amen. So, and after the crusade, he got a new piece of land, so he built a new church over there. So God is a good God. Amen. Tomorrow we're going to take a special offering, not today. And tomorrow, we're going to help one pastor named Bensi's brother. And she, uh, her, her brother is, uh, he, he found a new property and then they want to buy that new property. So if you want to give today, you just make mark it and tomorrow we'll have a special offering after the service or you can go online and make sure you specify it for the missions so they want to buy a new property and they immediately needed some funds so we want to do our best amen to help to plant that church in north india amen god is a good for 3950 God is a good God. Thank you for giving. So we have this next Sunday, we have very critical work. One is the parking lights, they're not working. And it means that the wire is not going. The wire is not going because they didn't run the wire. So we have to find a way to connect all the parking lights. Few lights are working, but about roughly four, five lights are not working. So Monday, <coughs> the electrician builders are going to come. We're going to see how do we connect these nine poles looks like a mystery, but I pray that it'll be easy. Pray they won't break the concrete. Amen. And somehow we had to drill through it or go around it. Uh, we have to find a way. They, they say that the pipe is either broken or uh, damaged. They couldn't run the wire. So we're not going to find reasons why it's not working. We got to find a way to make it working. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so that's the last and the big complex one. And the baptism tank is um, also going to be fixed. But for the inspection, the final inspection, we have electrical inspection pending. Uh, we have the storm water. That's an easy one. The plumbing is almost finished. Just one more small thing to fix. So pray for the electrical work. Amen. Thank you for giving so much. We're going to replace all the microphones uh, with the good ones. The good ones cost like $700 each microphone. So we're going to buy eight of them. So if the Lord puts in your heart, you can sponsor one. So we have all let us technology to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, God's uh, service, God's building should have the best. Amen. When you look for a house, you look for the best house. You look for the best fridge. You look for the best car. But why give broken things to God? No, no, no. We're going to replace the broken ones. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Any testimony? You may come forward. And thank you for the homeless ministries. They go every week. God bless them. Brother Raj and the team. Amen. If you have a testimony, please come quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Moses family has a testimony. You're not going to Canada, right? You're going to Dallas. Okay. <laughs> Come, come, here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise be to God. Kathrada Periya Kiruvela, Andar Engel Kora Vida Vaika Pandaru. Praise be to God. Romba or Achikimada Nadanathan, I expect Pandavela, a Takina Adala fall in place at you. Na especially na Yosikivela, mostly na Roshni or Padipa. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of 
அவர் பிளான் பண்ணி வச்சுருக்காரு எனக்கு ஏற்கனவே அப்படின்னு சொல்லிவிட்டு நம்ம அவ்வளோ யோசிக்கலனா கூட அவர் எனக்கு யோசிச்சு பிளான் பண்ணி வச்சுருக்காரு அதற்காக ஆண்டு வர சோத்திரிக்கிறேன் அப்புறம் இவங்க கூட எப்பவுமே சொல்லுவாங்க சர்ச் முடிஞ்ச அப்புறம் நம்மளுக்கு வீடுன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இவங்க சொல்லும் போதெல்லாம் சரி சரி அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவேன் ஆனால் உண்மையாகவே கரெக்டாக சர்ச் முடிகிறதுக்கு ஒரு ஃபியூ டேஸ்க்கு முன்னாடி தான் இவங்க சொல்கிறாங்க என்ன சர்ச் முடிய போதும் உன்னையும் காணும் அப்படின்னாங்க சரி ஆனால் இன்னும் கொஞ்ச நாள் இருக்குல்ல அப்படின்னாங்க இன்ஃபேக்ட் சர்ச் கூட பண்ணல நான் லைட்டாக ஏதோ அப்படி ஆனால் பார்த்தோட பார்த்தா கரெக்டாக சர்ச் முடிஞ்சு இப்போ ரெண்டாவது வாரம் நாங்கள் அந்த டெஸ்ட் முடி பண்ண குருப பண்ணார் தோரசு தோஷம் ப்ரைஸ் பீ கா ப்ரைஸ் பீ டு காட் ஸோ இதான் நாங்கள் ஒரு ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் ஆகிடுச்சு யூஎஸ்க்கு வந்து ஆல்மோஸ்ட் இந்த செப்டம்பர் வந்துச்சுன்னா ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் ஆகிடும் ஸோ வந்த ஒன் இயர்லேயே வந்து ஒரு 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 உமன்ட்டு அங்கே ப்ரேயர் பண்ணும்போது அவங்க வந்து ஆண்டூர் வந்து ஒரு மர வீடு கட்டுறாரு அப்படின்னு சொல்லி சொன்னாங்க அப்போது ஓகே மர வீடுனா நம்ம அமெரிக்கா தான் அது அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு சந்தோஷம் ஸோ அது ஒரு கன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் நம்ம இங்கே இந்த ஷேக் கூட ஒரு வாட்டி வந்தபோது அவர் எங்கள் வீட்டுக்கு வந்தபோது கூட அவர் அங்கேயும் ப்ராஃபசைஸ் பண்ணார் ஒரு வீடு உங்களுக்கு இருக்குது அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் நாங்கள் அதை ம மனசுலேயே வச்சுருந்தோம் நானும் ஏதோ ட்ரைலாம் பண்ணுவேன் ஆனால் வாங்குகிற மாதிரி இருக்காது ஏன்னா வீசா ப்ராப்ளம் இருக்கும் ஜாபும் என்னோடய கான்ட்ராக்ட் ஜாப்னால் கொஞ்சம் எனக்கு அது எவ்ரி இயர் தான் அந்த அப்கிரேட் ஆ அந்த கான்ட்ராக்ட் வந்து ரினீவல் ஆகும் ஸோ அதனால் வந்து என்னால் ஒரு கான்க்ரீட்டாக டிசிஷன் எடுக்க முடில அதுவும் இல்லாமல் என் கையில் காசும் அவ்வளோ இரு இல்லை ஸோ அப்போ என்னென்னா நம்ம அந்த டைமில் கூட நிறைய கிரக பிரேசம்லாம் இருந்துகிட்டே இருந்தது அப்போ கூட எங்களுக்கு ஐயோ நமக்கு ஒரு வீடு வேணுமேன்னு இருக்கும் அப்போ கூட ஆண்டவர் வந்து ஒரு வசனம் மூலமாக ஒரு நாள் நாங்கள் அப்படியே யோசிச்சுட்டு இருக்கும்போது ஒரு ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் வசனம் மூலமாக பேசினார் ப்ராவப்ஸ்லேருந்து அது என் அந்த வசனம் அதாவது வெளியில் உள்ள காரியத்தெல்லாம் நீ ஆயத்தப்படுத்திட்டு வந்து அதுக்கப்புறம் அந்த ஒர்க் அந்த நமக்கு என்ன ஆசையோ அதை இது பண்ணோன்னு சொல்லிட்டு நான் அந்த வசனம் வேணால் யாரையும் மீட் பண்ண நான் சொல்கிறேன் நான் பைபிள் ஞா அந்த வேர்ஸ் ஞாபகம் இல்லை ஸோ அது எங்களுக்கு ஒரு பயங்கர இதுவாக இருந்தது கான்க்ரீட்டான ஒரு இது ஆண்டவர் வந்து ஓகே அப்போ நம்மளை வந்து ஜாபு நான் அது என்ன மீன் பண்ணேன்னா என்னோடய ஜாபு மணி ஃபினான்ஸ் எல்லாத்துலேயும் நான் ஸ்டெபிளைஸ் ஆகி வீடு இது பண்ணோம் அப்படின்ட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் ஓகே அப்புறம் நாங்கள் திருப்பி திருப்பி ஆண்டவர் எங்கள் கீழே பேசிகிட்டே இருந்தார் அந்த தாவிதுக்கு வந்து வீட்டை உண்டு பண்ணினார் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டுலாம் கர்த்தர் வீட்டை அது நிறைய வாட்டி வந்துகிட்டே இருக்கும் அப்போ கூட இல்லைன்னா வீடு வரலையே வரலேன்னு அப்புறம் நான் என்ன பண்ணேன்னா நிறைய சர்ச்சில் நிறைய மெம்பர்ஸ் கேட்கும்போது நான் சொல்லுவேன் இல்லை சர்ச் பில்டிங் தான் ஃபஸ்ட்டு அந்த சர்ச் பில்டிங் நம்ம வந்து முடிச்சுட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் எனக்கு ஒரு வீடு வாங்கணுன்ட்டு என்னோடய ஆசை வந்து நான் சொன்னேன் நிறைய பேருக்கு தெரியும் அது ஆனால் அது அது நான் அது அதில் உறுதியாகவும் இருந்தேன் நான் ஆக்சுவலாக ஆனால் யூ ஓன் பிலீவ் அதுதான் நடந்துச்சுது கரெக்டாக சிஸ்டர் நான் அப்போ கூட சர்ச் ட்ராக் ஆகும் போதெல்லாம் ஐயோ என் வீடும் ட்ராக் ஆகிட்டே இருக்குது அப்படின்ற மாதிரி தான் இருக்கும் அப்போ கூட ஒரு நாள் சிஸ்டர் வந்து கரெக்டாக ஃபேர்மாக ஓகே நாங்கள் இப்போ தான் இது பண்ண போகிறோம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லும்போது அந்த வீக் நாங்கள் அப்படியே பேசிகிட்டு இருந்தோம் அந்த வீக்கில் எனக்கு கொஞ்சம் ரொம்ப ஃப்ரஸ்ட்ரேஷனாக இருந்தது எப்படின்னா ஐயோ வீடு ரொம்ப சின்னதாக இருக்குது எங்கேயாவது வெளில ஓடணுன்னு இருக்குது நாய் பூனெல்லாம் வளர்க்கணும்னு ஆசையாக இருக்கேன் ஆனால் வழியே இல்லையே அப்படின்ட்டு இருக்கும்போது எதேச்சா ஜில்லோ போனேன் போகும்போது ஒரு வீடு வந்தது இதில் என்னென்னா ரோஷ்னி ஜோனாக்கு ஒரு இது மொட்டை மாடி இது ஸ்டெப்ஸ் எல்லாம் வேணும் அந்த மாதிரிலாம் ஒரு கண்டிஷன் இருந்தது ஸோ என்னை பொறுத்திருக்கேன் எல்லாரோட மைண்டும் சிங்க் ஆனால் தான் எதுவுமே நடக்கும் அப்படின்ட்டு ஆண்டோர் நமக்கு ஒரு திட்டம் வச்சுருக்காரு ஆனால் எல்லாரும் அதுக்கு உடன்படி ஆகணும் அப்படின்ட்டு யூஸ்வலாக எனக்கும் அவனுக்கும் சான்ஸே இல்லை அவன் அந்த சைடாக நான் இந்த சைடு அந்த மாதிரி தான் இருந்தது வீடு விஷயத்துலாம் அப்படி தான் ஆனால் காட்ஸ் கிரேஸ் வந்து அந்த வீடு எல்லாேருக்கும் பிடிச்சிது அது அப்படியே அப்படியே ஃபேஸ்ட்டாக நடந்துச்சு எங்களுக்கே தெரில எப்படி இது நடந்தது சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ ஆல் க்ளோரி ஆனர் ப்ரைஸ் டு காட் தேங்க்யூ ஜீசஸ் கங்க்ராச்சுலேஷன்ஸ் காட் பிளஸ் யூ ஆமே கங்க்ராச்சுலேஷன்ஸ் கத்திர பெரிய கத்த கொடுப்போமா ஹால் ஏ லூயா அண்ட் ரோஷன் இஸ் கோயிங் டு காலேஜ் அண்ட் இஸ் க்ளோஸ் டு த காலேஜ் சம் நாட் க்ளோஸ் வெரி குட் எஸ் எஸ் சார் உங்களில் நிறைய பேருக்கு தெரியும் எங்கள் அம்மா வந்து கேன்சர் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் எடுத்துகிட்டு இருந்தாங்க லாஸ்ட் மே வந்து அவங்க ரொம்ப சிக்காகி இல்
பெரிய பெரிய சைஸ் இருந்தது இப்போ வந்து மஸ்டர்ட் சைஸ்க்கு வந்து அவங்களுக்கு மா மாறிடுச்சு ஸோ அவங்க வந்து நவ் ஷீஸ் ரெடி ஃபார் சர்ஜரின்னு சொல்லிட்டு லாஸ்ட் வீக் மறுபடியும் சர்ஜரி பண்ணி சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல்லாக வந்து இந்த யூட்ரஸையும் எடுத்துட்டாங்க உங்கள் காட்ஸ் ப்ரைஸு ஸோ உங்களோட எல்லாரோட ப்ரைஸ்க்கும் ரொம்ப தேங்க்ஸ் இப்போ ஐசியூவில் வந்து ஜஸ்ட் மானிட்ரிங்காக வச்சுருக்காங்க ஒரு த்ரீ டேஸ் மானிட்ரிங்க்கு அப்புறமா வந்து தில் மூவ் அட் டு நார்மல் வாட் ஸோ தேங்க் யூ Oh man God is a good God hallelujah let's pray lord take her out of the icu and bring her with glory and honor and power and strength as king david said the lord is my strength and power bless her with strength and power yesu namathnale kekkuro nalla pidave amen one more testimony praise be unto the lord uh, last week god has been doing uh, many many things in our life alla oru mukkiyana vishayam enna na driving class potrundanga enak my husband teach panna try pannanga but uh, he had to put me through driving class because enak drive naan scooty kuda na drive pannadala kadaiyadhu just cycle campus ku la mattum na utirken so enak road sense and mari edhume kadaiyadhu so i was uh, i thought it's impossible actually appuram class potadukku appuram three classes nalla dhaan pochu neethu fourth class ஸோ சார் வந்து டெஸ்ட்டு அந்த ரூட் காமிக்கிறேன்னு சொன்னோடனே நான் அது வரைக்கும் ட்ரைவ் பண்ண அளவுக்கு கூட சுத்தமாக ட்ரைவ் பண்ணல அப்படி எல்லாமே கொலாப்ஸ் ஆகிடுச்சு நான் சுத்தமாக டிரைவிங் தெரியாத மாதிரி ட்ரைவ் பண்ணேன் அவரே பயந்துட்டார் நான் இந்த மாதிரி ஸ்டூடெண்ட் நான் பார்த்ததே இல்லை வெரி ரேர் ஆஃப் ரேர் கேசஸ்ன்னு சொல்லிட்டார் ஸோ நேற்று நைட்டு நான் டிசைட் பண்ணிட்டேன் நோ ஐ எம் நாட் கோனு ட்ரைவ் தட் இஸ் நாட் மை கப் ஆஃப் டீ நோ அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு யோசிச்சுட்டு இருந்தேன் அப்போ ஆக்சுவலி நேற்று அந்த டிரைவிங் முடிச்சதுக்கப்புறம் அப்படி டிசைட் பண்ணியிருந்தேன் அப்போ பார்க் அவுட் ரீச் போயிருந்தோம் ஸோ போனப்போ அனோக்கா வந்து அவங்க டெஸ்ட் பண்ணி ஷேர் பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தாங்க ஸோ ஷேர் பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தப்போ என்னோடய ஃபேத்து வந்து உள்ளே பில்ட் ஆச்சு அதுக்கப்புறமும் நான் ட்ரைவ் பண்ணி ட்ரை பண்ணேன் ஆனால் ரொம்ப டவுன் அதாக இருந்தது ஸோ காலையில் எந்திரிச்சு அதுக்கப்புறம் நான் சார்க்கு ஃபோன் பண்ணி சொன்னேன் நான் இன்றைக்கி டிரைவிங் ஸ்கூலுக்கே வந்துடுறேன்னு சொல்லிட்டு அப்போ சார் சொன்னார் ஓகே நீங்கள் வந்து அப்போ டெஸ்ட் எடுத்துகிட்டு அப்புறம் உங்கள் ஹஸ்பண்ட் கூப்பிட்டு போயிடுவாங்களான்னு கேட்டாங்க நான் நினச்சேன் நான் இன்றைக்கி ட்ரைவ் பண்ணுவேன்னே தெரிலன்னு யோசிச்சுட்ருக்கேன் ஒரு டெஸ்ட் எடுக்கலான்னு சொல்கிறாருன்னு அப்புறம் எங்கள் ஹஸ்பண்டும் அப்படி சொன்னாங்க சரி டெஸ்ட் எடுத்துருவோம் இன்றைக்கின்னு அப்புறம் சரின்னு ஜோ பண்ணிவிட்டு போனேன் ஆண்டவர் இன்றைக்கி மிராக்கிள் செஞ்சால் உண்டு இல்லைனா அவ்வளோதான் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு நினச்சிட்டு போனேன் அப்போ சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தாங்க டங்ஸில் பேசு டங்ஸில் ப்ரே பண்ணிட்டே இரு ஆண்டவர் செய்வார் கண்டிப்பாக அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ ப்ரேயர் பண்ணிட்டே போனேன் அதுக்கப்புறம் ட்ரைவ் பண்ணி முடிச்சு டெஸ்ட்டுன்னு சொன்னோடனே கொஞ்சம் அப்படியே பதட்டம் ஏறிச்சு அதுக்கப்புறம் ப்ரேயர் பண்ணோன்னே எல்லாம் காம் டவுன் ஆகி நல்லபடியாக முடிச்சு எந்த மிஸ்டேக்கும் பண்ணாமல் காட்ஸ் கிரேஸில் பாஸ் பண்ணவும் கெட்ப செய்துட்டார் ஸோ ஐ ஒன்று தேங்க் அண்ட் ப்ரேஸ் காட்ஸ் மிரக்கல் காட் பிளஸ் யூ ஆல் எ லூயா ஆமேன் காட் இம் செல் கேவ் த விக்ட்ரி ஆமேன் சில பேர் வண்டி ஓட்டினா ஏரோப்ளைன் ஓட்ட மாதிரி ஓட்டுறாங்க அதில் ஒன்று இன்னோவா நோவா இஸ் இந்த கேட்டகரி ஆமேன் So may the Lord give you victory. Exodus 3.21 God told the Israelites, He will give favor in the sight of the Egyptians. When you go from Egypt, God said, You shall not go empty. So, you may be in Egypt, but still, when god takes you out of that situation god takes you out to a new promised land jesus said you will not go empty it looks everything is empty but say god said no 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 i'm going to make sure that you will have abundant favor people will start pushing people will start blessing you so that when you go out you're completely loaded to build a tabernacle in the wilderness amen so thank you for giving to the wonderful work and god bless you kan glimudu jebikana yes appa nandi andavare even as the people of god gave liberally lord bless them liberally they will not go empty they will always be full the righteous will not beg for bread they will not lack any good thing thank you jesus they will succeed in everything they put their hand they will have favor an abundant favor let it follow the master let blessings follow them amikki kuliki makkal sariki podan mendu jebikiren yesu vinamathinaale ketkrom nalla pidave amen
for the beautiful song. Children can go for their Saturday school. God bless you. Let's pray. Hallelujah. I thank you for every blessing that comes from the Father of lights in whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Lord, I thank you for the miracles. Lord, I thank you for all the wonderful things that are going to happen. I thank you for your help. Lord, I thank you for all the wonderful things that are going to happen. Lord, let the days that are coming be more glorious. Lord, let the days that are coming be more glorious. The latter days will be far more glorious than the former days. மகிமையால் நிரப்பும் அப்பா ஒவ்வொரு நாளும் அப்பா நம்முடைய சித்தத்தை நாங்கள் செய்ய வேண்டும் வார்த்தையின் மூலம் நாங்கள் நடக்க வேண்டும் அப்பா ஹெல்ப் அஸ் டு என்டர் இன் டு த கிங் டவுன் லோட் ஹெல்ப் அஸ் டு டூ வாட் காட் வாண்ட்ஸ் அஸ் டு டூ லெட் யூ வில் பி அவர் வியர் இந்த நேரத்திலும் வார்த்தை எச்சுபின் நாமத்தினாலே கேட்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே ஆமேன் கத்திர பெரிய கத்திர கொடுப்போம்மா ஹாலே லூயா காட் இஸ் அ குட் காட் என்டரிங் இன் டு கிங்டம் சர்வீஸ் how can we enter into his service you know when we grow out of college we enter into the workforce amen and we prepare for 20 years or 23 years some of us like me prepare for you know more than 20 years preparing to enter into the workforce but we should also be ready or getting ready or already into the kingdom service some of us you know like me you know when there was a guy who came to my campus in gindi engineering college in 1995 he gave a tracts and then i thought to myself why is he giving tracts is he another student maybe from another college i told i didn't tell him anything but i was thinking myself maybe he's wasting his time you know this is a time to study he should be studying passing exam getting ready to get into workforce but now i look back and see i could have also done something in college or after college and i was more career oriented i was planning to come to the us all my dreams were to, were to come to america so uri vandu avaru pradhana karyama enakku theriyala po i did not appreciate i did not really value ministry and many of us may get into this workforce thinking that our primary job or the only job is to feed our families or to become very successful or become a corporate leader and that's how we've been groomed we're not finding fault with our uh, parents or with our friends but somehow knowingly or unknowingly we have been brought up like that but there's something beyond or more important than working for the worldly companies this i'm not saying work should not work no we should work we should, the bible says commanded us to work 6 days a week we should work but something beyond it something more noble we are called to do his kingdom service his kingdom service has number one priority and then comes our you know earthly priorities hallelujah amen today we're going to see how do we enter into the kingdom service some of you have already entered some of us are still thinking should i do something for church can i do something we are you are still thinking years are passing but you are still thinking whether should i do something and i came this week you know i was staying here and working and i was realizing how god has changed everything and every time i come out i say i should do something i should do something for god even if it means picking up some stones on the grass i started walking around the property sometimes i find stones first time and first time i don't see something then second time i see something and third time see something else So each time I come out I feel like doing something more. And this did not come when we were renting but now when this is our property it, it is it's totally a different dimension you are you are constantly looking how to improve it for the glory of God. And here there's an opportunity for everybody. Ellorkume kathra or uliyate vaithirukkar. Everybody has an opportunity. a friend of mine came you know who comes on sunday service i told him clean the baptism tank this the tank is empty there is no big dirt but i still said clean it and then he cleaned it he spent like 20 minutes cleaning it and removed even the small dust out of it and then all his desire was i want to do something i said do this he did it he went home very happy happiness that did not come for the last 15 years 
ready to do. He was ready to do anything. Hallelujah. Number one, overcome age barriers. You know, the sons of Levi, Numbers 4, verse 1. Numbers 4, verse 1. The Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Take the sum of the sons of Kohath, the son of Levi. And verse 3 says, From 30 years old and up to 50 years old. You know, that was the limit for the sons of Kohath. You know, they were to serve God, but they got to be 30 and 50, between 30 and 50. But thank God, we don't have any time limit now. In those days, they had age limits. You can't serve in the temple unless you are 30. And after 50, you can't carry the things of the ark, carry the tabernacle or the tent or the pegs or bear the ark. So they were supposed to be in that age range. But now God is saying there is no limit. For example, Moses entered his workforce or his kingdom deliverance work at the age of 40. Exodus 2.11 says he found a person who was oppressing the people of Israel and then he slew him. Exodus 2.12 says he looked this way, that way, and then he said, oh, I came to deliver my people. I'm going to kill the person who is killing the Hebrew. He slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. He thought that's his ministry. He started in 40 years old in his heart. Who taught Moses about his ministry? I think it is his mom. When he was a young baby, you know, the mom said, let me float him on the Nile River. And then the princess found it. And then his mom was recruited to raise that baby in the palace, Pharaoh's palace. So there's no way for Moses to learn about other things except through his mom. Those three years that she was taking care of Moses, or a number of years, maybe a few years, somehow she inculcated or imparted. So at the age of 40, he said, I don't think palace is the right place. I don't think this is my vision. I don't think this suits my calling. He went out, he looked somebody this way, that way, killed the man who killed the Hebrew. The next day, he was found out and Moses fled. Verse 15 says, Pharaoh heard it. He sought to kill Moses and Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh. So ministry started, but it was very destructive, not constructive. Sometimes we could start a ministry and do bad things. You know, you come into ministry or we talk about people, we talk about backbite people. You know, we might do, in the name of God, we may be very destructive. Kill people verbally. It's possible that we enter into a destructive workforce. And so God took him for another year of training. But now the training is in the wilderness. God will take us through some training. A weird training in the wilderness where there was flock where there was quietness, Moses was trained for the next 40 years. You just, just keeping me idle. Yeah, there are times when you feel like that. But eventually, God will speak. God will reveal. It might look like wilderness. Maybe that was the best place. He has to unlearn everything he learned in the palace. And learn to listen to God. And became the might, one of the mightiest prophet and the leader and the judge in Israel. There's no man like Moses whom God used powerfully. Hallelujah. At the age of 80, Exodus 3 verse 1, he kept the flock of Jethro. He led the flock to the back of the desert. And God spoke to him in that mountain. So God commissioned him at the age of 80 to go back and deliver his people. We never know what God has for us unless we press into the things of God and ask God, what is my destiny? What am I going to do the next five years, 10 years, 30 years, next 50 years? God definitely has a plan for your life, for our life. We got to withdraw from our daily commotions and conflicts and activities and go to the wilderness and really ask God. Like Paul went to the wilderness of Arabia to discover what God has for him. 
He spent many years before he came back to Damascus and preached with boldness. He did not spend a lot of time in Jerusalem, but more in the wilderness of Arabia. So God called him again at the age of 80. Exodus 7, 7 says, Moses was four score years old. Four score means four times 20 is eight years old. And Aaron, his brother, was 83 years old. God can call you at any time. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, there, was some, there are times we miss. Like me, I, if I had started serving just in college or after college, yeah, I could have done more. But I despised people who were giving tracts. I used to say, why he's wasting time? Maybe he can't study. That's why he's giving tracts. But I now look back and say, those are the moments I should have optimized. I should have utilized it. I should have you know, spent some time for God. It's not too late. So God called him, recommissioned him at 80. He works wonders, defeats all the gods of the Egyptians. They had 10 gods. God of the Nile, God of the flock, God of the vegetation. You know, every plague was targeted against one God whom Pharaoh and the people worshipped. Those plagues were targeted against the gods of Egypt. And God of Israel proved that he is superior to the gods of Egypt. Those were ten plagues. Number two, avoid excuses. Even Moses gave an excuse. Exodus 4.10 Moses said to God, I am not eloquent. Nor since I have spoken to, to the servant, I am slow of speech, slow of tongue. Sometimes we may give excuse. God, I can't speak English. I can't write. I cannot talk. I can't do this. I'm not a musician. I'm not, I can't play guitar. I don't sing in scales. You know, we can come up with all kinds of excuses. The mind will concoct new excuses. You know, if you, to go to church, the mind will say, hey, today I need to pick up my son, my daughter. Saturday is the only day I, I, I get rest. The Holy Spirit will say, move fast. But the mind will say, ah, slow down. So there is a spirit talking to us. And there's also a carnal spirit talking to us, the carnal mind. The Bible says the spirit of your mind. The spirit of our mind should be renewed by the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, it's going to give opposite directions. The carnal mind is an enmity against God. So Moses himself says, I'm slow of speech. I was fast 40 years ago. Now I'm slow down. I can't speak fluently to Pharaoh. And God was a little bit angry with him. He said, take this rod. You'll do wonders with this rod. You, don't, you just come as you are. I'll use you. If you need a good speaker, I will even bring your brother Aaron. So both of them go to Pharaoh at the age of 80 and 83. So do not give any excuse. I don't think we should give any excuse. God can use a fisherman and God can use a physician like Luke or Peter, the fisherman. Both of them wrote books. Peter wrote books. Luke wrote books. He wrote the book of Acts and the book of Luke. Hallelujah. Luke 14, 16 says, A certain man, he gave a supper, and at supper time everything was ready. And verse 17, people began to make excuses. The first one said, I bought a piece of ground. You know, the man is saying, I bought a piece of ground. I'm busy now. You're calling me to do some church work. No, no, no. Just like I bought a new piece of land. Sometimes you might say, well, I got in the new job. I got this project going on. I got multiple projects. I got this onshore, offshore. Yes, everybody will have work. will have more work. So this man also had an excuse. He said, because I bought a new piece of ground. But God says, don't go give any excuse to the kingdom of God. We have to make time. Verse 19 says, another man said, I bought a five yoke of oxen. You know, some people are in the cow business. Milk is a good business. They'll get up early in the morning, three o'clock to milk the cow, but they won't pray at three or four. 
ஆனால் நாலு மணிக்கு எழுந்திரிச்சு மாடு பால் கறக்கணும் எல்லோரும் தின பீப்புள் ஆர் ஒர்க்கிங் அட் ஃபோர் ஓ கிளாக் ஃபைவ் ஓ கிளாக் டு மில்க் த காவ் பட் வென் வி சே கெட் அப் ஏர்லி அண்ட் ப்ரே தேல் சே நோ நோ தட்ஸ் தட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் டிஃபிகல்ட் வி வி ட்ரை டு கிவ் எக்ஸ்கியூசஸ் அவர் த மைண்ட் ட்ரைஸ் டு ப்ரொடியூஸ் அண்ட் வி ஆர் டு ஃபைட் அகெயின்ஸ் தட் ஸ்பிரிட் ஆஃப் அவர் கார்னல் மைண்ட் இட் வில் ஆல்வேஸ் சஜஸ்ட் சம்திங் கான்ட்ரடிக்ட்ரி டு வாட் த ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் சாஸ் and that is the battle we are in do not give excuse another man said verse 20 i just married a wife i cannot come we might find so many types of excuses you know newly married yeah they have their own challenges maybe baby you know new baby we might give an excuse i can't come to church or do anything extra for god we may be like traditional christians yeah we come and then we yes we give to god but then we might go back as traditional christians but god wants us to break away from the traditional mentality break away you want to do something extra for god you want to find time for god jesus said can't you pray with me one hour which means can we spend one hour per week just for the church allocated for the church or some type of ministry we have to start somewhere the lord said luke 4:23 the lord said to the servant just go into the highways and byways compel people to come in god is saying just go go to the highways we have to balance work and prayer and i was one of those ambitious people i i could hardly find time for god but when i looked back and saw how god picked me from that village and gave me a flight ticket i said that's too much i can never imagine somebody getting a ticket from my village because in my young days i used to look up the aeroplane will go and then say oh that is that's an aeroplane and my grandma also that is a aeroplane that is he say agaya couple you know he say agaya couple couple na thanil pogana but my grandma will say that is agaya couple is is flying ship we never thought one day we'll fly but when i look at all of those things i cannot give excuse i can't say there's no time absolutely that will be foolishness on my part to say that i accomplish it all he did everything for me and how can i say no to god how can i say i can't get up and pray how can i say i can't give There was a time that my first salary was 3500 rupees that's 50 dollars how can i say i can't give to church you know those days find a balance we're going to find a balance jesus told mary and martha they were you know arguing about time and listening to god and and luke 10:41 jesus told Martha Martha you're worried about too many things but verse 42 Jesus said Mary has chosen the good part which shall not be taken from her which means when there is time to pray Mary knew how to pray when Jesus is in the dining table or on the sofa you want to talk to him not at the time cook food or busy washing dishes so there is a time for washing there's a time for listening and Mary has chosen the best part no solomon said there's time and season for everything in our life we won't be always praying no 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 god will say pray sometime then go back to work we won't be all the time working there'll be time to rest there'll be time to sleep because there's time and purpose for everything under the sun so at the end of the day is balancing putting the kingdom of god first and then balancing everything else so that you have time for everything that god wants us to do hallelujah amen we can make it god wants us to be wise men planners plan your time if we have to arrive here at 6 you know how to get up you know how to plan before it's simple planning move shopping away to mornings or to during the weekend keep the sabbath day for jesus number 3 pick any type of work you know now when the holy till when edume yosikkuradha i know my own pastor in california is when he got saved he said he went to the church and then he walked behind the church he was a construction worker then he didn't have any talent pastor dick bernau he just retired few years ago 
அந்த சர்ச்சில் போனோடனே அவர் கேட்டாராம் ஏதாவது நான் பண்ண முடியுமா ஓகே ஐ ஜஸ்ட் பவுன் அகெய்ன் மை ஒய்ஃப் வாஸ் அபவ் டு டை and then i pray to god lord save my wife and then she came back alive she almost died came back alive and so he said and now i have jesus in my heart i want to do something and then they said okay you clean these rooms and so he was cleaning rooms and then he went to bible college and then he started a church in san jose and now the church has like 10000 people he retired few years ago his son is also ministering in uh, close to morgan hill california so you have to come and we have to start somewhere pick any type of work i mean just like putting these beautiful flowers it could be arranging chairs it could be turning off lights that's how samuel started he turned off the lights he went to sleep and god spoke to him so through different seasons you will do different work hallelujah amen for example numbers 4 5 when the camp setteth forward aaron shall come and they shall take down the covering veil so aaron's sons they are supposed to take down the covering veil of the ark and cover the ark of the testimony and they will put the badger skin verse 6 they'll put the badger skin they spread over they'll put the blue cloth and then verse 7 says on that table of show bread they'll put that blue cloth of blue numbers 4:15 4:15 the kohathites so these are sons of Aaron each one has some work so they will come when Aaron and his sons have made an end of the sanctuary all the vessels as the camp is set forward as the camp moves the sons of kohath shall bear it they will carry it so some people are going to carry the ark some are going to carry the tent some are going to carry the pillars some are going to um, remove the bolts so each one was doing some work the kogatais carried the ark the gershonites numbers 424 this is the service of the families of the gershonites and their burdens the bible says their burdens verse 25 they shall bear the curtains so they will carry the curtains of the tabernacle and the tabernacle of the congregation in verse 25 they'll carry the hangings of the court and the sons of merari numbers 431 they'll carry this is a charge of their burden according to all the service in the tabernacle the congregation bolts of the tabernacle bars of the tabernacle the pillars and the sockets there's so many things they have to carry in the old testament they got to carry the entire tent the tent the tabernacle and the ark and the table the show bread the menorah the lamp everything this whenever the camp moved certain people will carry certain things so much physical work even today god has similar type of work there's so many types of work in this house in the kingdom carrying is important as important as gathering you know in on the weekends we gather we gather to worship god but carrying doing god's work serving anywhere in the church is as important as gathering hallelujah amen may god give you ideas and strategies sila per solanga na viswasathinal naan devanidam poi serven விசுவாசம் இருந்தால் போதும் ஃபெய்த் இஸ் இனஃப் ஃபார் மீ அண்ட் தட்ஸ் ஆல் இஸ் நீடெட் பிகாஸ் ஜீஸ் சார் இஃப் யூ பிலீவ் இன் மீ லவ் எவர் லாஸ்டிங் லைஃப் சம் மைட் சி தட் அஸ் எ இஸ் எ டிக்கெட் டு ஹெவன் பட் ஜேம்ஸ் கம்ஸ் பேக் அண்ட் சேஸ் ஜேம்ஸ் 2:17 ஈவன் சோ ஃபெய்த் இஃப் இட் ஹஸ் நோ வொர்க்ஸ் இஸ் டெட் ஃபெய்த் அலோன் கேனாட் ரியலி சேவ் us இஸ் a hypothetical faith it's just a label called faith but james is saying if you really have faith you should substantiate it with some work if a person is really saved he will start doing something for jesus but if he says oh, i believe in jesus i believe in jesus i'll go to heaven and james is coming is coming back and saying if you just have that faith and you are not able to show any work that faith is dead and so he's questioning us 
If a man says, I have faith, verse 18, a man may say, I have faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without works. I'll show you my faith by my works. Some people will say, oh, I believe in Jesus. I believe in one God. There's nothing else to do. Verse 19 says, even the devils believe. Even the de devils believe there is one God. So there is no difference if we have no works and we just believe it. So James saying, will you, O vain man, faith without works, verse 20, don't you know it is dead? Even Abraham, James 2.21 says, was not our father Abraham justified by works? When he offered Isaac his son upon the altar. But Abraham would have told him, Andre, my neskirin apa, neskirin apa. I would have told him, but Katar told him, I want to test you now. Carry your son to Mount Moriah and offer him as a son, as, offer him as a sacrifice. Was not our father Abraham justified by works? We have to prove our faith. People should know that we are Christians by our works. What evidence do we have for other people to believe that we are Christians? There's a book called The Evidence That Demands a Verdict, which means there's sufficient evidence to prove that Jesus is the Christ. So similarly, there should be sufficient or more than enough evidence in our life for other people to believe that we are real Christians. Hallelujah. Amen. Even Rahab, James 2.25, Rahab was justified by works when she received the messengers, James 2.25, and sent them out another way. And the Amma Kuda, even though she was doing bad things, after she heard the good news through Joshua's team, she repented, her whole family repented, and that's why they were preserved. And he, to prove her faith, she hid those spies without delivering them to the king of Jericho. So, I'm ready to do anything. Cleaning, cooking, washing, everything is part of it. Everything is part of the ministry. It's not just preaching. Nobody goes to the pulpit without doing other things. God will give you a platform too one day. Maybe you'll have a home group. Maybe you'll have a, you know, a village. You go to a village and people will listen to you. So God will give opportunity, but we should be ready to do any work. Preaching is work. Preach the word. You know, the time we give to God, God will use you to share the word. Philip did not start a church, but he was running and preaching to the Ethiopian eunuch. That is preaching. Amen. That is evangelism. That is preaching. Hallelujah. So God told Timothy, Paul told Timothy, preach in any season. Be ready to preach the word in season and out of season. 1 Timothy 4.11 says, now teaching is another work. You know, taking out the deep things of God. That is teaching. So preaching is different from teaching. Preaching is motivational, more motivational, and saying the scriptures to ex exhort people. But teaching is going to depth and revealing the revelations contained in the words. So God told Timothy, teach these things, command these things. Look up at the Mundusulgadi, go your ways, and look up 10 9 says, heal the sick. So healing is God's ministry. And tell them that the kingdom of God has come upon you. Hallelujah. We're going to see how can we can enter into this workforce. How we can enter into this kingdom work. Everybody can be part of it. Hallelujah. Every skill God has given to you, see how you can use it for God. You know, I learned web programming in in 2010 and then I said God let me write a software to manage the church church members so I wrote a software in 2010 
So, and they improved the software. I spent probably four years writing the software. And now that program is still used. All the mails that you get is from that program. And all our givings are tracked for the, the CPA to look at it. And we have like a short summary we give every year to the CPA. And see how we can use that talent for God. You are not called to bury that talent. You may be good in hospitality. You may come early in the service and say, uh, I want to be usher. I want to greet people. You know, if you tell me, do you want to greet people? You know, in those days, I never want to greet people. <laughs> Amen. But some certain people are good in greeting people. Hi, please welcome. <laughs> We need those people. Some are very serious. But those should not be standing at the gate to say, please come, please go there. <laughs> this way. If we can't smile, we shouldn't be in Asia. So the only reason God uses me, I think, is I can be very quiet. Many times I ask, why do you make me fast? Why? And then I convince myself, maybe because I'm, I can seclude myself for several hours without talking to people. And that's one qualification needed to read the word. You need to be quiet and alone. So maybe that's the only qualification I had. And God said, okay, I'll use you. <laughs> Somehow I'll use you and use your time, use your life. Skilled work. Some are skilled and God can use their skill. For example, Exodus 35, 25. All the women who are wise in heart, they spin with their hands and brought what they had spun. Blue, purple, scarlet, fine linen. They will make some cloth. They were making the, for the tabernacle, tents. In verse 26, all the women whose heart stirred them up, they spun goat's hair. They are making some blanket or some kind of a garment for the tabernacle. And there were Bezaleel, Exodus 31, verse 2 says, I have called Bezaleel, the son of her, the tribe of Judah. I filled him with the spirit, gave him understanding, wisdom, and knowledge to do cunning works. Verse 4 to work in gold, silver, and brass. Some of them were skilled. They can do artwork. They can carve. They can make beautiful ornaments, jewelries out of gold, silver. And they have design skills. They can design a house, design a room. You know, you can use some of that, those skills for God. Maybe an artist. Maybe you can draw something for kids or write a beautiful lyrics or psalm or you know, pictures. So Basileel was used to design artwork in the temple. Hallelujah. Number four, God wants us to do his will. We shouldn't say, I'm going to do what I want. I'm so happy when people come to me and say, Pastor, tell me what I should do. Tell me what I should do. So we don't go and ask God, Lord, this is what I'll do. No, no, we go and ask God, what should I do? What is your will? Jesus said, not my will, but your will be done. Amen. He was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. His flesh was weak. But then he surrendered himself. He said, not my will, but yours will be done. That's true ministry. You know, there was a time in history of Israel, they had one language, one language. And all the people, they used the language to build the Tower of Babel, and they used it against God. One language was God intended. But then these people, they used the talent to build something that will reach God, or something that God did not want. That's how the Tower of Babel came up. People, they wanted to make a name for themselves. We have the wrong motive, then those talents that were supposed to unite them all together, God used it to disperse them. One day they were building a brick. One guy said, keep the brick here. 
That guy did not understand. He was taking the brick elsewhere. Hey, please come. Put the brick here. And that guy said, no, I don't understand what you're saying. So the work stopped. The Tower of Babel stopped because God confused their language. When they use the language against God, God dispersed them. Today we have so many languages because of the dispersion. So many differences. But that was not God's original plan. He had one language for all people. I believe it could be Hebrew. Hallelujah. So we should always say, God, you gave me the talent. What is your will? What should I use it for? If you are a software designer, don't build a software for a cigarette company. Don't work for a cigarette company. Even if it's indirectly used, you say, bye-bye, I'll find another job. Why should I build software for a drinking company or software for you know, something that's illegal, drugs? Hallelujah. God wants you to be doing his will. John 4, 34, Jesus said to them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Hallelujah. Paul increased in boldness, in strength. Under cooling, some people say, "Don't be afraid." Some people say, "Don't go." Some people say, "Don't go." Some people say, "Don't preach." Some people say, "Don't go." Don't do this. But Paul refuted all of them. He grew in strength. He confounded the Jews, proving that Jesus is Christ. Many will come to say and stop our mouth. Don't preach. Don't give tracts. But as for boldness, the apostles uh, in the book of Acts, they prayed for boldness. Every time they were threatened, they came and prayed for boldness. And the Holy Spirit gave them the boldness. And Paul was also threatened many times. But then he increased preaching, increased boldly. So when we do ministry, we should not be afraid. We should be bold. We should be led by the Holy Spirit, anointed by the Holy Spirit. Every apostle who was sent was anointed and sent. So when you go and do ministry anywhere, pray and go and get prayed in the church. Before you start sharing the gospel, you yourself should be anointed, filled, and sent by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's all stand. We'll pray for two minutes. We are called to enter into the kingdom workforce. Thank you, Jesus. And anyone and everyone is invited. Faith without works is dead. Lord, help us to justify our faith by works. That men shall know that we are his disciples. Increase in boldness. As Jesus said, go by the highways and the byways. Bring anyone, compel them to come to Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Use our life, use our talent. Time is transient. It keeps moving. Our years are coming. They fly away like a cloud. There's no time to even think because time passes so fast. There's no time to even think about the past. We just have the present and the future that needs to be utilized wisely. I forget the things of the past. I run towards a high call of God. In Christ. One thing I do to run for Jesus. God will make you a runner. Lord, make me run. Every day, help me to run. 
when i get up give me a new vision show me a new place a new family new person one thing we will do we will run for you forgetting all the things of the past but we run to the high call of god in christ jesus kathar solugirar yakob ennam sirupuchiye ni onrukkum kalangade unnai undaakinavar kathar umakku munnale povar kaigile thetti inda padale palam god will strengthen you make you bold and you will run faster in jesus name ஒன்றுக்கும் கல்லங்கி விடாதே சிறு குற்றமே நீ எதற்கும் பயந்து விடாதே சிறுபூச்சியே ஒன்றுக்கும் நீ ஒன்றுக்கும் கலங்கி விடாதே சிறு குற்றமே நீ எதற்கும் பயங்கி விடாதே உன்னை உண்டாக்கினவர் உன்னை சிறு சித்தவர் முன்னே நடந்து செல்கிறா உன்னை உண்டா கோவில் போற சோகா தேவின் அன்பும் வருஷத்தாவின் ஐக்கியம் இன்றும் என்றும் சதா காலத்திலும் இருப்பதாக அமைய 
எல்லோரும் சேர்ந்து என் ஆத்மாவே கத்தரை சோத்திரி இது முழுமையாக பரிசுத்த நாமத்தை சோத்திரி ஆத்மாவே கத்தரை சோத்திரி கத்தர் செய்த சகலங்கள் நீயும் வருவார்கள் ஆமேன் கத்தர் பெரிய கத்து கொடுப்பாமா தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் காமிங் ஹாவ் அ கிரேட் வீக்கெண்ட் காட் பிளஸ் யூ